Natasha Griggs, uh, are you surprised by the level of feeling in support of the country Liberals, especially in the bush tonight? Not at all. Um, I've been working in the polling booths today and uh, there certainly has been a, a feeling of change. And we also um, knew that you know, we'd been working very hard in the bush seats, so no, I'm not, not at all surprised. Um, the, the early figures that we have are very, very encouraging and certainly reflects the sentiment out in the community. Are we seeing a repeat of what we saw at the last federal election, which was uh, a swing against Labor in uh, the, the seat of Lingiari, Warren Snowden's seat? I think that for, for far too long Labor has ignored the Bush seats and so um, they, they're now trusting the country Liberals to, to look after them. And so, yes, it was happening in, the, in the, uh, the last federal election and I think that this is certainly a reflection that Labor has uh, ignored the Bush for the last uh, 11 years. Uh, some of the seats that we had thought would be crucial tonight, Johnson and uh, Nightcliffe, have turned out not to be. They've stayed uh, with the Labor Party. Is that a, is that a surprise? Well, yes, it is. Um, but there are other seats that, that we've picked up, and I guess that it, you know it was all going. It was going to be a, a you know. We're not, we weren't really sure how it was going to, to play out and so, as I said, the sentiment out in the community is one of change and it just, I guess, the, the seats that we thought would change haven't changed. So, uh, um, you know, we've got, we've got uh, Arnhem, for example, um, that wasn't contested last, last time at all and so I think that we're seeing, um, you know, what happens when, when a candidate is contested. Um, I'm very sad that uh, it doesn't look good for Joe Sangster, who's a hard-working candidate who's put all her all into uh, into San, uh, into Johnston, sorry, and uh, same with uh, Kim Loveday. Worked really, really hard, and uh, unfortunately, it wasn't. It doesn't look like they're going to win those seats. The country Liberals uh, have quite a lot of bad blood with Jerry Wood over his decision to back the Labor government uh, when Alison Anderson resigned. Uh, do you think he's been vindicated? I mean, he's been returned quite comfortably in the seat of Nelson. There hasn't been the backlash that the country Liberals were predicting in that seat. Oh, well, if you actually have a look at the figures for Judy Cole, there, there were quite significant figures for Judy, so I'm not really that sure that you could say that he's been vindicated. Um, I think, once again, uh, the country Liberals have got excellent candidates and Judy, Judy Cole was one of those and unfortunately uh, she wasn't able to, um, to to win that seat off Jerry. Uh, what about the future of Paul Henderson if some of these uh, seat changes uh, are born out at the end of the night uh, what do you think is in store for him or should be? Well I mean you, you look at Anna Bly for example I mean you we understand that Paul has said that uh, he won't we won't resign but it's gonna be very difficult for him to go from being the chief minister into opposition um, with uh, a significantly reduced number of, of seats so I wouldn't be at all surprised if uh, Paul Henderson in the next few days um, resigns just like Anna Bly did despite saying that they wouldn't wouldn't do it but they did anyway um, which will be excellent for Rihanna Harker because she's worked very very hard and obviously the community is is um, supportive of her so um, I hope that that uh, that that's what happens and uh, that we are able to win that seat as well. Natasha Griggs thanks very much. Thank you.